The Roads to Carbon Neutral, presented by Total. Welcome to The Roads to Carbon Neutral. Well, in this edition, we focus on the power of the sun and evolution of solar energy. At present, globally, the generation of electricity by renewable sources is led by hydro and wind power. Solar is significantly lower by some thousand terawatts. We are seeing more and more countries adopting solar. To give you an idea of the scale, 10 years ago, only 20 gigawatts were installed worldwide. And last year, in the middle of the pandemic, we had more than 140 gigawatts installed, which is a seven time growth in just one decade. Country data shows China dominates in the use of solar, followed by the United States of America and India. Any new technology that is not viable, if we do it in China, China would be able to bring the cost down because of economic scale. And that's exactly what happened with solar PV. In Europe, we have a problem because in Europe, the peak hour is in the evening. So we have to find a way to store this energy, to manage the demand response or to shift the load. And so for this, we still need some technological innovation because big batteries do not last for so many hours. The transition from the laboratory to the mass market has accelerated in the last decade. The next version of the solar cell is a few microns of silicon rather than the heavy and the fragile cells of 30 years ago. Significant gains in efficiency are happening alongside a considerable drop in manufacturing costs. All this combined have helped open the market further. We have to increase fourfold this increase in capacity to get to the 14,000 gigawatts of solar that we need in 2050 to in line with the scenario that we put in place for ensuring carbon neutrality by mid-century. In 2050, it will be 6,000 gigawatts of installed renewable capacities. So the trend is phenomenal and Total wants to be part of it. Total, a broad multi-energy company, has a global renewable strategy which actively contributes to this clean energy transition. It's an integral part of the company's ambition to get to net zero by 2050. Well, to discuss this further, I'm joined by Vice President of Operations for Renewables at Total, Remy Bourgeois. Remy, hi there. So how far is Total on its renewable journey? So Total has been active in renewables since 2011. Since that time, we have extensively increased our installed capacity in renewables, going from 0.8 gigawatt in 2017 to more than 7 gigawatt by end of 2020. But we are not going to stop there. Our plan is to be at 35 gigawatt by end of 2025 and by 100 giga by end of 2030. Our objective is to be amongst the top five renewables energy companies. We have developed since 2017 a program aiming at solarizing our service stations and so far we've been able to achieve this on more than 2,000 service stations. And how is Total enabling global communities to access energy? It is a must do, frankly speaking. We are developing some off-grid solutions in order to provide some efficient, sustainable, clean, affordable uh, energy. We are leveraging on our position in order to distribute some solar lanterns and systems to people living in emerging countries for which the access to energy is very expensive. So far, we've been able to reach more than 17 million people. That's an impressive figure. Total's global solar power portfolio is vast and continues to grow. It includes major operations across the Middle East, Asia, Europe and the Americas. Constant innovation, 35 plus years of experience and thousands of solar and storage deployments have made SunPower one of the leaders in the American renewable energy sector. This partnership with Total began back in 2011. To date, SunPower has deployed 17 million solar panels worldwide for residential and commercial use. We've built projects in over 35 states, interconnected into 75 different grids, 
and worked with hundreds of customers to deliver over a gigawatt of power in the United States. The University of California school system is a great example of that. SunPower built a solar and storage solution across multiple sites in order to enable UC Merced to meet their net zero goal ahead of schedule in 2020. It's that combination of solar and storage that is going to be the key driver to achieving our net zero goals. The technology is always evolving around the size, shape, weight and energy capacity of solar cells. Around the world, innovators have taken advantage of this and applied the latest generation of solar tech in several creative ways. Researchers at Rice University in the US are taking solar panels to the next level. Printable, paintable and stretchable. This thin red layer on the surface of a polymer is the photovoltaic device. It's a new technology to enable solar panels to go in different directions. For communities frustrated by interrupted electricity supply in South Africa and Lesotho, the bright sparks at Solar Turtle can help. Transformed containers flip open to become solar energy hubs, serving 300 to 400 households with electricity. The public can hire bottle batteries, simply plug in and charge. One this size powers a television up to 20 hours. The potential for solar power in Africa could have a huge impact on the continent. There is an entrepreneurial spirit here, both established businesses and startups working towards a bright future. Total Carbon Neutrality Ventures, or TCNV, has been supporting some of them. Total Carbon Neutrality Ventures invests globally. African continent represents a key demographic for us, and so it's very important for us that our solutions that we provide are global. And therefore, we are also investing in startups, high potential ones across the continent, which are able to deliver energy access for all, following the UN targets of energy access for all by 2030. We believe in companies like PEG Africa because of the impact that they create on the communities where they operate. PEG Africa provides financing for life-changing and useful products such as solar home systems. When we were doing our due diligence on PEG Africa, we had the opportunity to travel to Ghana and we visited a fishing village that was 30 minutes off the highway. They were so remote that it was unlikely that the grid would ever get to them even in 20 years. Therefore, solutions like solar home systems provide the opportunity for families like this to get on the energy ladder by being able to gain access to electricity for the first time. Well, that's all for this edition of The Roads to Carbon Neutral. To view further content from this series, visit roadstocarbonneutral.com. Goodbye, until next time. The Roads to Carbon Neutral, presented by Total.